trying to dig out the gold in the William Hill Gold Cup. Delighted to say I'm joined by Paul Keeley, Paul Leacott. And uh, Paul, we'll come to you first. Uh, where are we going here? Yep, one on either side. Um, so as we get a run for our money, if they split uh, low numbers, we are going for Riley's Keeping Faith and highish numbers going for Redford. Okay then, well, one horse reasonably in form and one a bit of a jack-in-the-box there. Yeah, okay. that's, that's right. One who's, one who's bang in form, always there, and one who I'm hoping is going to come back to his best, having hinted at it last time. Right, I like it. And yourself? Uh, Poet's Place, favourite, I know. Travels like a very good horse, probably a, a, a group horse of the future. Um, can go either side from the stall to well draw, wherever he wants to go. Um, did like Riley's keeping faith, but I think he might be on the wrong side. Okay then, in the Silver Cup, uh, definitely very strong claims. And uh, Paul? Uh, I'm just bypassing definitely in favour of Irish Heartbeat, winner last time at Doncaster. Um, should cope with the trip, it's quite versatile, one from five furlongs to a mile. Hoping they get the rain for him. If they get the rain, I think he's got a rock solid chance. Okay, could be value there. And yourself? Yeah, definitely. Um, good, as nearer to a good thing as you can get on the book for a race like that. But. Uh, I'll take it on with a couple each way. Lowther, second in the race last year, looks to have been laid out for it again. And misplaced fortune just keeps on running well. We'll get a good toe up the sand side rail. OK, great stuff, gentlemen. And moving on to Newbury, uh, obviously lots of punting opportunities here. Outside the Mill Reef, we're looking in the 305, the handicap. And I know we've got divided opinion, but you like the favourite, uh, Paul. Yep, best bet of that at Newbury is the John Gosden train Senate in the 305. Gosden Buick team, absolutely rock solid, banging form at the minute. Senate going for a hat trick, got a seven pound penalty, but the way the weights are framed, he's actually rang off a pound lower than when he won seven days previously. So it could be a good thing around the three to one mark. And the Andrew Boarding horse for you? Yeah, Breakheart, second and probably the best three year old uh, one mile two furlong handicap run this season. Lots of winners come from behind it. Ignore last run on soft ground, probably going to be a bigger price than it should be. Okay, great stuff. And then the uh, Dubai Airport World Trophy, the Group Three. I know you're both weighing in on the same, uh, same horse here then. Yeah, well, it kills guys, his favourite horse, I Yeah, think. Mr Huey um, brought something new to the table last time with the ability to travel well off, off a decent speed uh, at Beverly. Um, they're going to go fast again. He's got a turn of foot. Um, you know, I think he could be potentially better than these. He's still got to prove it, but, you know, our confidence is still there. Confidence is still there around the 8-1, Mark. So thank you very much for watching. See you all again soon.